Yes, say, Mr. Pussycats. Bloody dropping stuff already. Oh, hell. We'll start again. Yes, say, Mr. Pussycats. Meow. And welcome back to a new and unfortunately the final video on this channel but more of that later because I'm going out and I'm going out of a bang ladies and gentlemen I'm doing the Heriot way can I complete the Heriot way within 48 hours so I'll park just up there at the National Trust car park and visitor centre I parked up got my gear out I went to Lou and I went and got my ticket 48 hours so I've got to be back here by no later than 16.39 on Sunday it's now Friday can I do this in 48 hours and enjoy it without killing myself well we'll soon find out won't we regards to this being the last video on the channel I've got two days to tell you all about that and I will tell you all about that don't worry this video is not going to be two days long <laughs> but I've got two days to to discuss everything and explain why but yes guys it's not clickbait this is unfortunately the last video on Adam in the wild it's a 52 mile hike anyway for now onwards we're off look we're on trail and what a what a lovely start. Here's Gar Falls just there. You didn't get to see much at Falls at the beginning of this walk, but I know when you finish it, you do get to see more because you come from other way where Falls are a little bit bigger and more frequent. <clears throat> so you will get to see. Here's Gar Falls as part of this walk. What a lovely start through this woodland. And I've played it tactically here. So I want to do it within 48 hours, so I could have started this morning um, and it would have given me all day Friday, all day Saturday and then through the night to do it if I want to do it within 48 hours or I thought if I start Friday evening I can get some miles under belt and then all day Saturday and then all day Sunday and still be able to complete it within the 48 hours so that's what I'm going for. The signs here and everything already. Look at that. I know what's going to come with Yorkshire Dales. Some really tight squeezes. What's this? Oh, just public footpath. Where this way? Here we go. Anyway, a realistic. So I set off at what? 20 to 5? Beautiful here. 20 to 5 is what time I set off. So if I can just get two or three hours in, five or six miles, and then have a massive day tomorrow and see where we're at for Sunday and finishing off within that 48 hours mark. But one rule and one rule only, I've got to enjoy it. If I want to stop and look something, I do it, I take it in. Because that's why we do this, not just to do it as quickly as possible. Yes, it's a 48 hour challenge, but if it means failing that and enjoying it, so be it. But I don't intend to fail, because I don't fail at anything apart from my GCSEs. Oh, you what? So the heavier way the stages are Aesgar Falls to Hawes, Hawes to Keld, Keld to Reef, reef back to Aesgar Falls and they try to do it in, f in four days so my aim to do it in 48 hours is tonight get to Askrig which is between here and Hawes tomorrow minimum all the way to Keld beyond if I can and then Sunday on to reef past reef and finish it so four days into two that's a plan Stan oh yes here we go this marks the real start the dales rolling hills in the background and the tiny 
styles, gateways, whatever you call them. Ready for my supersonic dad bod to squeeze through it. Here we go. I'm not going to film all of these because it's embarrassing. Getting, getting belly through it these days. Right, the views are going to open up, I can tell. Let's show you some views, not just my pretty face. Let's show you some views and let's make our way into our five mile hike, six mile hike today to Askrig. Here they are, look. All in queue for Oasis tickets. Here they go, yeah. Big novels that way. And where that way? Onwards, pussycats, yes I. I'm gonna miss you a lot, you know. I'm gonna miss, uh, I'm gonna miss shouting like pussycat and stuff on top of mountains. Well, I am still gonna do it. I'm just not gonna film it. Like I say, I'll explain the reasons as we go along. But they are genuine and they're all positive. I just really want to enjoy this video. One last video with you lot, eh? Let's have some fun. Oh my lord, I was told about these tiny gates. What's that in there? I can hear a noise. I'm not getting bit by adders on last video. I got told there were a lot of tiny gates, but I didn't know this many. Wow! I'm only a mile in and what the blooming Nora. Jesus. Blooming loads of them. I said to myself, it won't be a long video of this, it'll be just a nice, nice one. About two and a half hours worth of footage at first mile. Why is that a, is that a bull? Is that a bull? If it is, I'm not doing this. Not interested in bulls. It's a cow. Cows are still lively, but it's not a bull. Flying for time. Askrig, three and a half mile that way. Askrig is my destination for tonight, which will set me up nicely. Three and a half mile with these gates is more like 13 and a half mile though, isn't it? <laughs> There's another one here. However, this one looks a little bit, well, I'd say a little bit more straightforward, but it's covered in deathly nettles. No, it's not more straightforward. Got to climb over that blooming thing. Hell on earth. You will have I, will we? Have you? Will they? <laughs> will we? Oh, you will. And while I'm on a roll, none of this would have been possible. This hike, today's video, and all the videos, without the man himself. So as always, a massive and big shout out to Wayne. Here you are, look, just through that gap. We're back on river. Follow the river for a bit. Another gate into this field. I mean, this one's got a plumbing style of its own. We need to open that. But yeah, there's river. So we're following this a little bit. Pretty much all way to Askrig, I think now. How far are you going? <laughs> Have you been running? Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Better than me. A bit warm for running, actually. Yeah, I can imagine. It's hard enough walking. I know. <laughs> See you later on. Here we go. Let's get across here about dying. Woo. Beautiful and perfectly still. Well, it's not perfectly still, that's a lie, it is running. But it's very, very calm. And it's just beautiful around here. It's beautiful. Love it. Love it. Away with my own thoughts. Just hiking. Along a river. Yeah, anyway, I'm gonna stop waffling. I'm gonna stop waffling and do my own hiking. So I'll see ya. We can't be far now, maybe a mile or so. See ya when we're entering Askrig, looking for me lemonade, Foster's Top. This certainly doesn't help with pace. That's a path. That's a path. Yep, them nettle bushes. Been stung to death already. That's a blooming path. Yeah, the paths aren't favourable. Certainly at the start of this walk anyway. Still following river. Yeah, I'm having to use my sticks as a sword. Oh my goodness. That is a beast. Oh no. Nope, I'm not interested. I'm going up there in case I need to make an escape. I'm ready to dash straight over that fence. 
Look at it there. What a beast of an animal. Look at that. There's no way I'm walking on that fella's path. That's it, keep licking your testicles. Ignore me. Ignore me. Seen me. It's seen me. Seen me. Staring at me. I'm not good with cows, me. Oh, he's turned round. Just piss off. Scared the hell out of me. One thing I wanted to do on this hike, with it being the last video for the channel, is talk about the journey that it's been because that's what it's been, hasn't it? It's not been a YouTube channel as such. Well, it has, but it's been a journey. And it's the least expected but most thankful journey I've ever been on. I started solo, I just set it up myself. Never expected, I'll take my glasses off for respect actually. I set it up myself and never expected to meet anyone through it or, or from it. And I got a message from a, a YouTuber in Wales called Die from Camp and Wild with a Dragon. I've met the fella, quality guy he is. And he says, uh, hey up mate, I've seen your channel. Would you like to come in a group chat with me and some other outdoor YouTubers? I says, oh yeah, that'd be nice, meet some like-minded people. And in that group chat were some of my best friends of, uh, for the rest of my life now. Mooster Outdoors were in that chat. And uh, we got talking and everything. Mooster Outdoors invited me out. He took me to the Lake District for the very first time. And anyone that watches my channel know that now. The Lake District, after that one visit, became my favourite place in the world. I've lost count how many times I've been since uh, that one time, and that was my first ever time. So that day, I gained a friend for life in Mooster, and a place which holds a special place in my heart forever. Buttermere is now my favourite place in the world, which is in the Lake District. And if it weren't for Mooster, I'd have never have ever been to the Lake District. Shortly after that camp with Mooster, another camp was arranged. Cumbria Lad Outdoors, Paul, he invited anyone in the chat to Gummer's Howe, another place in the Lake District. I went along, not knowing who was going, apart from Paul, Cumbria Lad Outdoors. First time I'd ever met him as well. And on that camp, the Bueller brothers were there. And... Uh, Dar, King of the Ducks from Wales, and uh, G were there, and uh, who are all my best friends now, especially Mr. Cumbrian Lad Outdoors, who you've seen on the channel a hell of a lot, and you'll probably see me in his channel moving forward because I might be stopping the channel. But I'm not stopping camping and I'm not stopping with them boys. They're my friends for life. And I will continue to camp with them. So keep an eye out on Mooster Outdoors. Come real out outdoors. And I'll mention everyone else, Bewley Brothers. I'll mention everyone as these as this hike goes on. But yeah, that's how uh, that's how I met the guys through that WhatsApp group and then Mooster and Paul invited me out on a camp. About four years ago, the rest is history. Love you guys, man. I've more people to mention, but the people I've mentioned so far, Mooster Outdoors, Cumbrian Lad Outdoors, Bewley Brothers, Dar G, Dai. I absolutely love you all, boys. I really do. Right, guys, rookie error from me. I have brought my charging power banks but left the wire in the car. <sighs> Idiot I am. So when my phone battery goes, that's that. It's got my OS maps on it. Obviously take my pictures on it. I won't be able to charge this camera without the wire. So here's the plan. I stay here tonight as planned in Askrig. I uh, head to Hawes in the morning. There's a spa shop in Hawes. Now it'll be a lot smaller, a little village spa, but I'm hoping they sell wires. If they do, boom, game on. If they don't, 
it's probably game over. Yes, I can refer to an OS map, paper map. I won't be able to film it. I won't be able to take any pictures and I won't be able to get in touch with anyone at home to let them know I'm okay. And I don't really want to do that. Anyway, we'll cross that bridge if that shop in the morning doesn't have any wires. For now, onwards into Askrig to get me a lemonade, Foster's Top. They probably don't sell Foster's, I say we're not selling that shite in here and I won't blame them either. Hello Askrig. What a beautiful little setting of a town that is. Right, where's Boozer? Talk about getting lucky. Pub's just there. Got talking to a farmer in there. They used to run a campsite, used to. It's not trading as a campsite anymore. They don't advertise it or anything. But there's still a, a composting toilet. She said, I'm happy to, she says, she's happy for me to pitch up there. And it's just here. She said, look for camper van. There's camper van. She says, just pitch up next to the composting toilet. Winner, winner. So he's been searching for their wild camping spot, so let's find this toilet. <laughs> I'm guessing these are the toilets. They just pitch up here somewhere. That'll do me. Here you are, look at this, this will make you laugh. She's let me pitch the pump farm for night. She said, you won't be alone, you'll have plenty of mates. Hey up chaps. You all right? Do you want to introduce yourselves one by one? Oh no, bottled it. But yeah, this used to be campsite, but no longer. So they should just give it to sheep. That used to be a campsite, obviously they used to be toilets. Now it's just just a farm. Apparently this camper comes a few times a year and just pay to stay here. And she says, yeah, just pitch up on a bit of grass and it lose. So I have. <laughs> Beautiful views as well. Success today, success. The aim was to get here so I could have a good start in the morning. So as long as I can get a phone wire from that shop we're cooking on gas because I'll be up and out six half six tomorrow got a mega day when I say mega I'm talking maybe close to 30 miles but I had a bit of a leg stretch today so tomorrow should be a good one right it's just gone eight o'clock gonna throw my stuff in have a chilled one get that alarm set up and at them tomorrow see you on day two yes sir puzzy cats Yes, I pussycats. Here we go. Half seven in the morning. I just stayed there on this woman's farm. We're back on Elliot's Way Trail. Right, I need to get to Hawes. I need to get to Hawes because the shop opens in half an hour. It's about a five mile walk. I reckon an hour and a half I'll be there. If they've got a wire, get the wire. Charge the blower up. Charge camera up. And off we go. I need to get to at least Keld. At least. If I don't get to Keld today, I am not completing this walk in 48 hours. That's a fact. Keld from here. Ooh, what is it? It's well over 20 mile. It's probably 25 mile. Yeah, 25 mile is realistic, I think, from Askew to Keld. If I can get beyond Keld, 
even better than we're cooking on gas. But if they don't have a wire in this spa shop in Hawes, it's game over. And it's game over because I've got bloody anxiety as it is. And the thought of not being able to get in touch make sure the daughter's okay. Yeah, that ain't happening. But look at views. It was freezing last night, absolutely freezing. I thought my sleeping bag had failed. But when I got out at tent this morning, no, it was just freezing. My tent is soaked, it rained last night. So I've packed the tent away wet. So I'll have to get that out again later wet. If I get a, well, I can have a nice break later actually, can't I? Because it's due to be really nice again. I'll just get the tent out, let it dry out. Here's outdoors, eat your heart out. Medic. As always, a big thank you and a massive shout out to Wayne and to the dictionary, of course. A big thank you to the dictionary for always supplying the meaning of words. Oh yeah, before I forget, I want to give a shout out to that pub I went to yesterday. When I do these multi-day hikes, I only ever bring one camping meal, one dehydrated meal, and one dehydrated breakfast. So, eating pubs and stock up along the way as much as I can. And that pub I went in said that they were full. They couldn't get me in for something to eat. So I said, yeah, that's fine. Can I just have a drink outside? She said, yeah, of course you can. She went, how many of you is there? I said, just me doing Elliot's way. She went, oh, sit down, I'll sort you out. So she did. They served me a meal and I had the best chicken Kiev I think I've ever had. Unbelievable, Jeff. Anyway, yeah, big shout out to that pub. Beautiful pub. King's Head Arms or King's Head? Oh, King's Arms. Some up with word king in it. Just come off the track, just near where that car van is up on Tet Road here because just there it looks a bit further away on camera you can see the church of Hawes so I'm going to head straight down this road and straight into Hawes and grab some brekkie before tackling Great Shunner Fell Geordie Bear Mr Geordie Bear, the man himself I always said to Geordie Bear this isn't my channel, it's our channel and I stand by that you know, he came along on wild camps because he enjoys it himself obviously but he got so involved with videos and some of the silly things we used to do sit camera and that and what a guy Jody Bear my brother this channel would not have been the same without you so thank you for everything you did for me and for the channel and we will continue to camp I always come back to this it's like I'm saying goodbye and I'm stopping this forever I'm not just not gonna be filming them anymore and it's yeah it's sad but today I'm gonna to explain why because you're probably thinking well why why are you if you're gonna be doing it why are you just gonna film it so I'll just tell you now while, I, while I've got you <laughs> the fact is guys I don't enjoy making the videos anymore sounds horrible doesn't it I don't this one's a little bit different because it's a very, very meaningful one. It's me going out parade video. But I'll just let this runner come past me because I don't want to sob me out, out to a camera while well, runners try to get some miles underfoot. There he is, look. Forrest Gump. Morning. Yeah. Lovely morning for a bit of running. It is. <laughs> yeah. I always said that the day it becomes more of a a chore than an enjoyment that's when I'll know and I felt like it for a while now and uh, the last video I posted when I solo hammock camped on the uh, Great Mel Fell uh, I really enjoyed the wild camp but every time I was filming I was like what well, just uh, live in the moment Adam just enjoy it I just didn't want to film but sort of felt obliged to and I've been sort of talking myself out of it for quite a few months I don't put half as much effort in you know walking past camera <laughs> I know that's not a, a big factor but I don't put half as much effort in and it's because I genuinely just don't enjoy it anymore I love interacting with you guys but I don't enjoy the filming I went camping with my mate Cozzy, we did a wild camp at Dovestones Reservoir and I didn't film and I absolutely loved it 
I really did. I just know. I just know I don't want to. I just don't want to do it anymore. I'm on a massive journey with my mental health. Last night I was texting to other half saying I want to go home. The anxiety were that bad. I've tried absolutely everything for years and years and years. And I'm just I'm just a complete mess all the time and it's killing me. So I've stopped drinking. I had a lager top yesterday for my dad's birthday. But that must have had 0.4% alcohol in or something, but I haven't drank for six weeks and I'm trying to do more for myself for my mental health, that's it. I'm trying to I'm trying to look after myself a bit more. And I'm ticking a few boxes. And believe it or not, running this channel and filming my outdoor expeditions was something I really, really wanted to to not do anymore. And this sounds awful as I'm saying it out loud because I absolutely love and appreciate every single one of you that watches, but I just Sorry guys, I just, I don't enjoy making the films anymore. But, there's plenty of this one left. Like I say, we're gonna have some fun. So let's get my ass into Hawes, eh? Let's do it. Back to the little gates. But look at that for review. Look at that for review. Beautiful path into the stunning little village of Hawes. Got to say, this is one of the most beautiful walks into a village that I've ever done, if not the best. It's absolutely beautiful. Camping down, I've done it again. I've left my sticks. I was hoping I was going to make it to public toilets at all, but the number two waits for no man. So I did it, travelled it, shoveled it, hid it, walked about half a mile towards Hawes and realised I've left my sticks right where my turd is. Talk about leaving a marker. Hey, right, let's try again. Hawes, what a place, what a place. Had a lovely breakfast, got me charging wire, back in game. It's terrible like, but if I just throw my blower into where to play mode, lob it in my bum bag and let it do its thing, it'll charge. Bit of road walking to do, to get out of Hawes. And then we're up onto the fells, Great Shunner Fell. Great Shunner Fell is my next target, before then the long descent into the hamlet of Keld. No idea what time I'll get there, but that's where I need to get to, and that's where I'll assess the situation. Well, that didn't take long to get back onto the beautiful fields of the Yorkshire Dales. One of them up there somewhere is probably Great Shunner Fellow. It might be hiding at the minute still. Camping Dan. Obviously, I forgot my poles. Camping Dan, when we did the coast to coast, he literally Bearing in mind, I need my poles for my tent. If camping down weren't there, I'd have failed that because uh, I left my uh, poles about 28 times. So a big shout out camping down and big shout out camping down for just being an absolutely beautiful person as well. Yeah, uh, one of my best mates for life. The channel wouldn't have been the same without all these guys in it. You know, you get your regular zoo feature. Cumbria Line Outdoors, Camping Down, Beulah Brothers, Geordie Bear, Mooster Outdoors, Tent TPU Wild Camping. There's loads, there's absolutely loads. Boys in the Wood. I'll come on to Boys in the Wood later on in the video. There's just that many legends to thank. I could be here. For a week on this video 
but this section is dedicated this part of the video is dedicated to you camping down mate love you brother thanks for being a massive part of this youtube journey straight nearly got ended by a bloody tour de france so Hawes is way back in the distance now you can't see Hawes but I've ascended bloody hell chicken or something uh, I've ascended maybe 150 200 meters up now either that or behind that and it's higher no it's not that that's too close but uh, great Shunafell is in that direction so I'm going to go up and over this, up there, and I'm going to basically turn a left and I'm going to just slug it all the way. Might even be that big beast in distance, you know what I mean? So my plan is get over this stile, get to the top of that, and where it joins and where I turn left, I'm going to have a five minute there. I've got a little bit of a bottle of that coke left, have that, take some water on, then literally it's going to be slug my way up and I'll bring you back at top. But let's get to that break point and then uh, I'll bring you back then. And I can show you me drinking a little bit of bottle of coke because that's what you're all tuning in for, isn't it? <laughs> now this, this is content. Oh, and this is views. And that is my path to the top of Great Shunafell. It's a good couple of miles uphill. Watched a few videos of this walk, the Harriet Way. Uh, Andy Beavers, Rambling Rachel UK, and a couple of other random ones. This this old gadget who did it as well, he were bloody inspiring, he was. I forgot the name of his channel. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna put the camera away and just get my head down and get to the top of this because it's a slog. It's about quarter to 11. Battery's not fired off dying on this, so I'll put this on charge as well as blower. Uh, I'll bring you back at top. Wish me luck, great Shunafell. You what? Sometimes you've just got to live the moment that you're in, haven't you? Woohoo! Look at that. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Doing really well with this ascent up to uh, great Shunafell, but also massively enjoying it. I'm only about halfway up. I said I'd bring you back at top, but look at views, man. This is what I said, I want to enjoy it. If I don't do it in 48 hours, but I enjoy it, it's still a win. Rule number one, enjoy it. Don't know if you can see him, but I keep seeing a figure in distance and I've pretty much caught him up, or her, can't tell yet. But this may be the first Harriet Way I've found. Or rather doing the Pennine way. I'm intrigued. I'm gonna find out. He's got a right pack on. He's got a right pack on him. <laughs> he has though, he's got a, a big old pack. Let's catch him and see what he's up to. You alright mate? Boggy in it up here. <laughs> yeah, you see it's like a dream when you get the flags, isn't it? What are you on with? The Harriet Way? Yeah, same, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm enjoying it, to be fair. Yeah, it's I wasn't expecting it. Well, I knew it'd be nice, but... Good yeah, well, I was going to do it last week, but I'm... G yeah. Uh, from Keld, for the day I was going to go to Keld back to Reef, it was just crazy. I thought, nah, yeah. won't enjoy that. Where are you heading to today? Um, to Keld. Yeah. And then on to Reef tomorrow. Tomorrow, yeah. Forecast looks mixed, and then getting back from... Kelter, he's got for the car is at the National Park Centre. I'm exactly the same. Looks like Monday's going to be wet. So. Yeah, that, I think I'm on exactly the same route apart from I'm hoping to finish tomorrow. That is Great Shunafell. Another flat plateau, then another steep climb. It's an absolute beast. Look at all four summits on it. It's an absolute beast, this thing. Great Sunish. Great Shuna. Great Shuna. Could have. Blah, 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 blah. Fell. It's a monster, man. It's an absolute monster. It's a monstrosity. Let's do some karaoke. Shame ward. I'm not. Sing along. Come on. 
I'm not here to say I'm sorry. I'm not here to lie to you. Come on, sing along. I'm here to say I'm ready. And I finally fought it through. I'm not here to let your love go. I'm not giving up. Oh no. I'm here to win your heart and soul. Come on, all together. That's my goal. Anyway, let's carry on with walking. It's a windy one. Whoa, it's windy. Great, should have fell. Done and boshed. 712 meters. Leaving it at the third highest fell in the Yorkshire Dales National Park. Oh, you what? Right, heading down here. Look at this. Heading down now to Kelv. I've visited Kelv before. There's a lovely cafe there. See if that's open. If not, the campsite has its own little shop thing. Uh, woo! 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 Has its own little shop thing. I get a drink and that from there. Anyway, onwards to Kells. You know it makes sense. Oh, you will. Look at that for the view. And look at that beautiful village in the distance. Looks a lot like Keld to me. This walk is stunning. And I mean stunning. I reckon Keld's probably the halfway point. And I've done the walk from Keld to Reef before, which I'm going to do this time. However, the last time I did it was on the coast to coast. And we quite rightly, and I'm really glad, we took the lower route. The lower route was beautiful. There was the option of the high route which takes you through like Gunnerside Gill and Crap Pot Hall, all the old abandoned lead uh, mine, is it? So I'm going to go the high route this time. So then I've done both routes from Kel to Reef and I'm really looking forward to that section of the walk. All being well, the way I'm getting on, I'll probably start on that section today. I at least had to get to Kel. And I will get to Kel probably within the next hour to an hour and a half. That'll take me to maybe three, half three. So that gives me a few hours just to plod along then and see where I can get to. But I'm definitely going to take the high route from Kel to Reef. Probably have some breakfast in Reef in the morning before trying to get back to the car before 16.39 tomorrow. That guy I met at the top who's doing it, he's normal. He's stopping at Keld and he's going to Reef tomorrow. And then the day after that, he's going from Reef back to the car. But I'm starting to believe I can do it in 48 hours and I'm enjoying it. I'm, I'm not rushing it. I'm just steady away, taking it all in. Lots of breaks, just like I will at Keld. I want to see if I can try and get an ice cream or something cold at Keld. I'm going to sit by that waterfall where we camped on the coast to coast for five, ten minutes as well. And then I'm going to start plodding on up on the high route. But these views are stunning, man. The Yorkshire Dales takes my breath away every single time. Keld. Keldy, Keldy, Keldy. Am I happy to see you again? Where's this ice cream at? Left Kel behind. That waterfall. One of my most precious memories from the coast to coast, that place. I could have easily called it at Keld. I don't know what I'm in. Become 22 and a half mile in. I thought it was 25 from Askrig, but I think it's 22 and a half. So I've done 22 and a half mile. So now I'm just plodding, not killing myself.
bit of pain in my left ankle and just tired. So I've got a big day tomorrow as well, but I had to get to at least Keld today to be able to finish it with a long slog of a day tomorrow. I've done Keld, got a few hours left of sunlight. Let's make most of it, but without killing myself and sticking to rule number one, enjoying it, which I very much am so for most part. Look at this. It's just beautiful. Swaledale Valley, absolutely beautiful. You can just see a few tents where Keld is right back there. That path there that follows the river. That's the path myself and camping Dan took on the coast to coast. And as you can tell, I've just come up here and I'm heading up. And I'm gonna go the high route all over there. This part of the trail, low and high, is just full of these abandoned houses from when it all used to be uh, lead mining and, and whatnot. And, uh, the chances are I'm probably going to pitch up near one of these uh, later on in the evening. That's the uh, that's the way I'm thinking anyway. But for now, onwards with trail. I did start to worry about this. Worry about the spot I had in mind to camp tonight if someone got there first. Well, not only did someone get there first, but I think some five got there first there they all are up down there hey i'm not knocking them i'm not knocking them at all there's many a times me and the fellow youtubers have done group wild camps and they were there first it is what it is so i am going to have to bat on a bit further and it's all bloody uphill and find the next best spot onwards what a gaff got to be careful while i'm filming here because it's a bit unstable, but what a place. Look at this, guys. I don't want them young group, because they are young, like 18, 19, I'd say, to think I'm filming them, because I think they're doing something wrong. But this is amazing. Anyway, I won't film them. And I'm off up there, because we've got a bat on. They were sound enough, that young group. They were pretty passionate about leaving no trace and whatnot, and had a little natter with them. Oh, my neck, I'm just dripping. I'm absolutely dumb. And I've got about another 300 metre climb to do, but as soon as I've done that, first place I find I'm having it. Don't know how many miles I've done, I can figure it out. I don't know, I can't figure it out. <laughs> uh, a lot. A lot. I'm halfway I'm I'm halfway there to Reef from Keld. Keld to Reef's a, a day on its own up coast to coast. I'm bumming halfway. I looked at time thinking, can I make it? Can I make Reef? But I can't. I won't make it, not with inclines that I've got on this part. Well, I would make it, but it'd be pitch black and nowhere to camp. So, I'm probably going to end up camping about five to six miles off reef. So, I'll have that to do in the morning. And then on to the finish line, which it'll still be a good 20 mile day. Yeah, because what did I do? So last night I did six or five. And then say if I've done 25 today, I'll have 22 to do tomorrow. Which means timing is not on my side for the 48 hour challenge. But I know what I'm like when I need to up there, turn on the gas. I will turn it on. Anyway. Onwards, find home for night now I'm done. I'm calling it here for night. Path's just there. Angle Town's there. I'm having it. 
I'm just having it. This looks just about right for me. Some flat spots, not boggy. Just about there will do me. Look at that. Looks like mini angle tarn, it's unreal. Lovely views, not too far from path. Yeah, this is me. I lied, it's boggy as shit. Ah. The search continues, it might be somewhere else just around here. It is really boggy. Don't know if we're waking up like Noah's Ark. Yeah, it's soft, it's boggy. Right, search continues. That was just getting silly looking for somewhere. Because it's all the mine area. It's all rock solid flooring. I looked behind some of the walls. There was a space behind that wall, but it's leaning like it's going to fall. Not risking that in wind. So I come into this ditch. Some flat grass here. Look how wet my tent is, man. It's drenched. So I'm just going to get it out and let it dry for 20. Oh my god, it's absolutely soaked. So I'll get, let it dry out for 20 minutes and then throw it up. I'm shattered, man. <laughs> <laughs> I just can't. I've just been sat here staring at my jet boil to make a coffee. <laughs> right, let's look at positives. Uh, we smashed the target with about six miles past them. I'm on the high route on in line with Gunnerside, which is about halfway between Keld and Reef. So I am guessing with some fresh legs in morning, two to two and a half hours to Reef. Bosh. I want to be on the road realistic time 6 30 at latest 6 30 arriving to reef at 9 a.m that will then give me a full day's walking to finish the job 14 miles from reef ish we'll go over that uh to finish the job so that'll give me nine well six to do 14 mile bearing in mind the pace will be a lot slower just like it was for the last few hours here it's hard work, but it's absolutely amazing. I'll put bloody tent up and then I'll bring you... What is going on? I'll bring you back me... Uh... To say I'm shattered, I've not pitched it too badly at all. It's lovely and taut. And it's needed because it's a windy one. Hopefully this will block a little bit of wind. It's not the worst place to pitch a tent either, is it? In an abandoned, disused lead mine. Them numbers are scaring me. There's numbers near them up, so I hope they're not shooting targets. Imagine that. Last video on the channel. Thumbnail. I was shot in head. Adam's mum is posting this. I mean, we'll go out of a bang, won't we? <laughs> anyway, let's get stuff in ten, because I'm ready for an early night. It's only coming up to half seven. Half eight, I'm a kip. I'll show you the setup. Better show you the setup that I've brought for this trip, Anna. Simple as it comes. Anyway, let's spin you. Right, so down here, uh, the newly purchased wire. That one's on its last leg, so that's going to kick into charge in a second. Uh, spare clothes in that green bag. Just got them out ready. My famous bum bag. My hat and my bag, just all kept inside, no particular reason why. My dirty shoes, my socks drying out, I just took them under laces. My rubbish there, getting held in by the full bottle, although that one's nearly escaping. And I will always make sure I leave no trace. So rubbish there, jet boil there, coffee cup there. And if you know, you know. As basic as it comes, you can just see the sun just about to creep under the the hill line that I've got. I'm absolutely shattered, so I'm just going to wait for that to go down. What? It's doing it again, and. Uh, Bloody rocks here. And then um literally at the sack. Got some stuff downloaded on Netflix, so 
if I could get to sleep about half eight, that go through till half five. Uh, can I work that out? How many hours that is? Half eight till half twelve is four hours. Half five is another five hours. Nine hours? I think it's nine hours. Uh, nine hours sleep, up and at them. Try and get to reef at a decent time because this this high route ain't easy. So it's not as straightforward as just getting to reef. So if I can get to reef at a decent time, it'll set me up that I might be able to do this challenge within 48 hours. And I'm so glad I've been stopping as much as I have and enjoying it because I've really enjoyed this walk. I'll definitely do it again over four days, 100%. Love to do it. 12 mile a day or whatever it works out at. 12, 24, 48. It's about 12 and a half mile a day. Be beautiful, that. That'd be ace. I don't know how much I've done today. I've gone from Askerig to in between Kelden Reef. It's it's a bloody distance, that's for sure. Anyway, I'm waffling. City in the morning. Yes, sir, Mr. Pussycat. Good morning, and yes, sir, Mr. Pussycat. A uh, couple of slight problems. Um, first problem is the fog, sorry, yeah, the fog, the weather. Look at that, can't see now. So I'm gonna get on that path and uh, hopefully it'll be pretty much straightforward. I know there's ups and downs and still still to go to reef, but and second problem is I'm really limping on this ankle. I wouldn't say the pain's bad, it's just more the it is like a little bit painful, it's just not working, it just it's proper limping, so might be a bit slow going. Might be a bit slow going. Anyway, I've just about finished dropping the tent, throw it in tall bag. Bag's just full of rubbish now. <laughs> and then uh, I'm going to crack on to Reef. As long as I can get to Reef at a decent time, it's a really straightforward walk back to Aysgar Falls. Really straightforward. Quite boring, actually. Um, a lot of people stop at Reef. You know, my mate Lloyd, he got to Reef and then he just changed the route and he did the coast-to-coast -coast section to Richmond. Because uh, apart from Castle Moulton, which has got a castle, there's no note of note to see. Uh, but... I'd like to do the full thing, so we'll go for that. Anyway, drop this. It's a bit chilly, foggy, but once I get going, I'll be right. Pussycats, the last day. Here we go. The last moment to this channel. Subscribe to Boys in the Wood. Beautiful views this morning. <laughs> hey, Boys in the Wood. Gaze, Gav, and Amy. I was talking to boys in the wood on WhatsApp for uh, some time before I eventually went down to Wales and met them and did two days. The first night I did in the Brickens on Fanny Beak with Dar and G, some legends I mentioned earlier in the video, Friends for Life. And then the second day I went to the big build that guess from Boys in the Wood and Gav have been working on <clears throat> with some bits of help from other YouTubers along the way and that friendship was already a friendship but it blossomed once we met and then I went down again and saw him and we did uh, a night at the build at the little build and then we did um, a night on Sully Island where we got stranded on Sully Island for 24 hours and wild camped and that were a very very special camp and it'll live with me forever and Gaze said to me, I was saving this camp for a special time and, you know, that was lovely. Of course, seen him again at Levu on the farm last year. <coughs> and then uh, they came up to the Lake District and we did a camp on Renadale Knots this year, or last year. <coughs> but what I'm trying to say is, another group of YouTubers, which started off as a friendship through making blooming videos and putting them on YouTube, to a beautiful friendship alongside all the rest of my beautiful friends who I've already mentioned Paul, Cumberland Outdoors Mooster, Mooster Outdoors Camping Dan 85 Gets Gavin Amy, Boys in the Wood Craig, One-Legged Wonder there <clears throat> Da, King of the Ducks, G Glenn Mellish, oh what a guy Glenn is man what a guy, he's another Welsh one Die, Camping Wild with a Dragon Oh my goodness, I'm missing loads. Freddy, Freddy Outdoors, 10 TP, wild camping. 
honestly i could sit here and go on forever about my mates from youtube honestly i could adam mr wild wales mr wild wet wipe <laughs> oh you what bloody hell hunting and camping wales i could go on forever oh you what anyway let's crack on limpy like a can you tell i'm limping on this or what bloody hard work this firstly apologize to the people who are watching this video for the look at this this is fascinating this place old abandoned lead mine really is fascinating you can just imagine history here can't you? i'm going to proper research this place when i get up but yeah sorry for uh, anyone that's watching that's really just wanted to see the heavy at way because you might be doing it yourself and you got me blabbing on about me last video on channel if it's first time you're watching hello and goodbye <laughs> yeah four years i've had it so feels a bit surreal that i won't, won't have it anymore but i just wanted oh hell on earth i just wanted to uh see remember the real reason why i started this channel it was to help me cope with my mental health um help me grieve which i have done very badly and honestly um i'm about to run out of battery i've got three minutes left of filming not battery uh, it's storage i'll have to move on to the phone so if it looks different after this you know why bloody hell i've done some filming um two minutes 45 it's helped me grieve it's helped me spread my message regards to letting other people know it is okay to not be okay mental health is real um there's a stigma behind it it's slowly changing i believe believe more men are speaking about it big shout out uh, mark anthony who did that amazing talk at lavu regards to this very issue um but my message from day one to the very last day if you're struggling talk about it speak to someone because male female non-binary lgbtq plus we're all human we've all got one of them and we uh in it and one of, and our and our brains act in different ways mine's a shit show <laughs> mine doesn't turn off when i sleep but talk about it it's okay to not be okay samaritans I swear I've just seen a baby deer. Not baby deer, bloody rabbit in there somewhere. Anyway, this place is mad. Look, you've got a boat there. Is that a boat? Bloody Titanic at Yorkshire Dales. You got a monster truck? What the bloody hell's a monster truck doing up here? Monster trucks, do do do, monster trucks, do do do, monster trucks, yeah. Ugh. I hate it when this happens because you've got to get the map out and check it. Uh, up there, not up there. Anyway, I've checked map and it's this way. But that does my balls in when you're cracking on with it. Hey, up, is that right? Don't go over there, do I? Oh my god, what an idiot I am. Sorry, guys, I'm on the phone now. Ah, I've only got limited storage on this as well, but anyway, I'll have enough to finish the job. Um, that bunkhouse here, I've seen it on a video, I'm pretty sure you can sleep in that. If I'd have just walked another 45 minutes, could have got in that without setting the tent up. Look at the setting as well, all this abandoned lead smell. Is that right? Smell, smell. Let's have a look, see if it is open. What a buffoon I am. False alarm, I don't think that is it. That's not it. Ah, oh, I'm in pain, man. That's not it, it's got a padlock on it, that. Yeah, false alarm, that isn't it. Is that it? Or is that part of the abandoned stuff? Let's have a deek. Yeah, I think this is it. That's got a padlock. And this might not be it, but they're all padlocked up. It's got a padlock and locked. Looks more like it though, doesn't it? But bench and stuff. Am I even thinking at right Ike? 
Anyway, let's go have a look at this. This is the future. Look at it. Unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. Mad to think that this would have been a vibrant working uh, mine smell. People have been living here. You see the chimney stack. Amazing. Look at this. Oh wow. Woo, this is unbelievable. It's taking me back a bit this. This is why we do these kind of walks. Forget the challenge for the minute, live it moment. Embrace what you see, look at that, look at that stack. Big shout out, Anson's Leeds Asphalt, my old place of work. Look at that, wow. I'll be there, I'll be there for when you are bored. Hey, hey, I'll be there, I'll be there cause jeans, jeans are torn. Hey, hey! Camper van's up there, not a bad little spot that is it for a camper. We're coming off this lead mining road and back onto some grass which I'm grateful for because my feet are killing. Ah, we're this way towards Reef. Hi guys, I'm in the mess, I'm in a mess, I'm in a mess, it's game over. Ah, I've gone over. Uh, I don't know how bad it is. Uh, uh, oh shit. I'm just hoping it's a bad twist, man. Uh, uh, oh my god. Oh no way. Uh, uh, sat on floor in rain. Uh, I've still got a couple of miles to reef. That's the closest place I'll be able to get sort of bloody rescued from. What a way to end channel. <laughs> ah, that hurts, man. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to get to reef. Right, I'm going to have to try and get up. Get me shoe on and try and get up. Right, guys, I'm up, but this ain't good, you know. Shit. Right. Tough ass coming to get me from Reef. I'm gonna have to try and just hobble there. Don't know how long it'll take. Oh, I think this is broke. This could be a break. Originally I thought the right hand side, but the left hand side is what? I said we we're gonna go out on a bang. <laughs> I weren't lying, were I? I weren't lying. I'm hobbling, I'm hobbling along towards Reef. Listen, guys, I'm not disheartened. No one can keep me down. A bit of a damaged bone in my foot is the least of my battles. I've defeated bigger battles than that, and I'll defeat bigger battles than that again. So, I don't know exactly what the damage is. I will post on my YouTube channel community page updating you all what the outcome is but let's be happy be careful when you're out here walking guys be careful it is what it is I'm not letting it get to me I think it's quite a funny way actually to end the channel <laughs> I'm not just going to end it on this note and say bye. I've prepared a little something for you all. Um, so enjoy that watch and uh, until the next time, people. Until the next time. I have done a lot of thank yous to everyone that's been part of this channel in some way or another. Especially to the other fellow YouTubers that's been in my videos who's kindly had me in their videos and who I've thankfully and gratefully become friends with for life. 
But the biggest thank you, and the biggest thank you of them all, goes to you guys for watching. Not only for watching, but for commenting, for sharing, for liking, subscribing. Or even if you've done none of those things, and just watched with a smile on your face, then that makes me happy. You've helped me share my message of it's okay to not be okay. I know for a fact, and the facts are proven, we have helped people out there. We've had messages from people that have been struggling and after watching my videos, they've reached out for some kind of help. The fact that we've managed to do this together, not just me, but with you as a team, I'd say that's mission accomplished. That's why I know the time is right. The time is now, the time is done. I will camp forever. It's my hobby, it's my release, it's my medication. And I'll always camp and spend time with my amazing friends that I've met through this wild thing called YouTube. You've watched me cry, you've watched me grieve. You've seen me at my highest, you've seen me at my lowest. One thing I can promise you, and assure you, is you have seen, over the last four years, the real me. I've struggled with the loss of my dad. I've been in bad places. But when I've talked to that camera, I know that I'm talking to you. So I thank you, all of you, from the bottom of my heart, for being there for me, for listening, and for being a massive part of my life. I think it's fair to say, Let's not cry because it's over. Let's smile because it happened. So there's only one way to end this video and this channel. Keep it real with Ian Beale. Big shout out to Wayne. Susan Boyle, pass me a biscuit. And... All together. Come on. All together, after three, one, two, three, yes sir, Mr. Pussycats, meow, out of in the wild, out.